Hi, and welcome to FedMail. Thank you for joining us on this Friday afternoon. Hope you're doing well and that your preparations for Shavuot are now underway. I want to begin by acknowledging that this is the eight month anniversary of the October 7th attacks, um, today being June 7th. There are still over 120 hostages held in Gaza, uh, some of whom are American citizens. There are a number who are believed to have uh, been killed while in Gaza, and those figures are changed on a weekly basis. Uh, this week, a new round of negotiations between Hamas and Israel ended in uh, Hamas rejecting the latest terms, which would have called for their uh, removal, would have called for a ceasefire, a lengthy ceasefire. Uh, but Hamas has noted that they want to remain in power in Gaza and they will not surrender their weapons. And so the ceasefire talks uh, were ultimately rejected and of course failed. All of this is happening in the wake also of the discovery of a large number of very sophisticated and large tunnels between Gaza, Rafah in particular, and Egypt. There's concern that hostages may have been smuggled out of Gaza into Egypt and from there their whereabouts are unknown. So there's real concern over that and also the fact that Egypt may have allowed this to happen um, when of course Egypt has peace accords with Israel. So a lot of political implications for uh, that uh, discovery this week. Also there was a massive terror attack committed by Hezbollah in the north of Israel where drones and missiles rained down on a uh, municipal soccer field where there were participants in the area. Um, there were a number of injuries and fatalities. Uh, the war in the north, and I'll call it a war, others may not, um, has escalated this week. I saw photos probably of the northern part of Israel in, uh, in chaos under fire, and actually there were fires raging throughout that region of Israel. Um, the headlines in Times of Israel said that Israel is now prepared for a war on their northern front with Hezbollah. And uh, while I was in Israel, uh, there were a lot of folks I spoke to who said that their attention was uh, pivoting from Gaza to the north as things had become much worse and much uh, uh, more untenable there with uh, thousands of families still evacuated from their communities. So things are quite serious. Um, within our own community, glad to report, happy to report that Beth Israel had their 100th anniversary uh, last weekend. Very well attended number of events and I'm grateful for the opportunity to have uh, given remarks that day. So thank you to the Beth Israel community. We look forward to working with you into the next century. Coming up this week, there are a lot of events taking place this Sunday, beginning with a, uh, a morning author series talk put on by um, Worcester JCC, hosted by Temple Emanuel Sinai. Karen Fine is going to be giving a uh, talk about her latest book, and again, 9.30 a.m., Temple Emanuel Sinai. That afternoon, there will be a Brushes and Brews program, 12.30 p.m. at Redemption Rock. This is a program to benefit Rachel's Table, a fundraiser for them, and that will be a painting um, program, and you can have some beer with Redemption Rock. That's at 12.30 p.m. at Redemption Rock, and then that evening, is a special concert by our community chorus, Sheer Joy, and that will be at 7 p.m. So you can look out for all of that. Then following uh, next week at Congregation B'nai Shalom on the 12th, there's an Israel update with Dr. Shlomo and Sharon Maital. So you don't wanna miss that, that looks great too. Also this week, we're happy to be presenting you with the latest edition of The Star, which is our local Jewish newspaper. Folks work really hard on that. And I want you to mark your calendar for Jewish Heritage Day at the ballpark with the Woo Sox, July 9th. Now, one more thing, as I mentioned before, this is the eight month anniversary of the um, October 7th attacks. Today would be a great day between five and 6 p.m. If you would go outside either with an Israeli flag and an American flag or a handmade sign that says to release the hostages, find a local street corner that has a lot of traffic, a lot of people going by, high visibility, stand out there for a little while, show your support for Israel, let your voice be heard. And in fact, do this all weekend. It's a great time to do it, um, encourage it, but be smart. 
if, if you're confronted with other people, uh, use common sense, use good judgment. Uh, don't put yourself at risk. Be safe, uh, first and foremost. We want to make sure that all of that is the case. Don't go alone, uh, so on and so on. If you need any directions or directives on that, let us know and we'll be happy to uh, give you some guidance. But be smart, be safe, and let your voice uh, and support of Israel be heard. As I said before, hope you are getting ready for Shavuot. Get your cheesecakes and blintzes and whatever other dairy food you may be ready for out and about. And uh, we can all hear the Ten Commandments together, just like we did back at Sinai all those days ago. Take care. Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye.